All right, welcome to our second YouTube live uh, lightning lesson brought to you by Construct Connect Academy, uh, where we are focusing on cover sheet uh, within on screen takeoff. We'll be taking a look at some of those great tips for you uh, to get those jobs started. Uh, my name is Jake Omhorst. I am the Academy event specialist, uh, also an on screen takeoff and quick bid product specialist uh, here at Construct Connect. I'll be your host for today's session uh, looking at the, that cover sheet. So um, just a few reminders uh, before we jump in, you can ask questions by commenting on the video after you hit that subscribe button uh, at the bottom of the video. When you sub subscribe to the channel, uh, you'll see our videos in your feed. Uh, and uh, you can also be notified of our videos uh, if you click that icon, uh, that bell icon uh, to ensure you get notified. Um, that way you'll be able to uh, see all of our uh, pre-recorded videos that we release uh, uh, looking at new features and uh, any of our updated training videos as well. So uh, please add your questions into the comment section uh, throughout the session, uh, and we should have time to answer a few of those uh, at the end of the session today. So uh, we'll be live every Wednesday, well, not every Wednesday, at the last Wednesday of every month, sorry, uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern uh, with different features uh, where we'll be able to, you'll be asked, able to ask those questions questions uh, during the session. So don't miss out on uh, these live sessions. So um, we'll be taking a look at project statuses, adding images, and auto name, a couple of those top features in on-screen takeoff that we'll be looking at today. So with that, let's jump on over to on-screen takeoff. So in on-screen takeoff, when we are ready to uh, get started, and all right, give me one second. <clears throat> All right, so um, yeah, I got uh, got a few technical difficulties going on here, but we'll uh, should be able to get that worked out in just a second here. Um, so we will uh, be looking at uh, that cover sheet. So as we go to create our uh, first bid, uh, well. Hopefully not your first bid, but uh, we'll be focusing on uh, a few things. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, that button to create a new a new bid. Uh, when I open up the cover sheet here, uh, I've got a couple different things uh, across the top. This is going to be some details and information about my project. We're going to work our way through those, and then uh, at the bottom is adding your images. That's where we're going to add those images to our project. Uh, now I say add not upload because we're not actually uploading images into uh, the software we're telling the software where to find them on our computer uh, so want to make sure we you know understand that um, so we'll we'll get to adding those images in just a second here but uh, we are gonna start with uh, obviously a project name so uh, today we are talking about cover sheet uh, <laughs> I can spell today, cover sheet tips and tricks. Um, so you would put your, your project name uh, into there. And then from there, I want to take a look at the job status. So when I create a, a job status, it's whatever I want to, whatever I want to call that. So when I am working on a project, um, it is, uh, I might want to say that I am bidding that project. Uh, so what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, type that in there. So bidding. And when I type that bidding in, uh, if I don't have it in my database already, I will need to you know, save that uh, into my database. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that way I can come back and, and use that again on a next project. Uh, now, whether it is uh, bidding or if I have uh, another status once I am done bidding on that, I can go ahead and set up those different statuses. Uh, so using that magnifying glass, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So I already have a few in there. So I've got bidding, uh, in progress, sold, pending. Uh, I've got my boosted uh, status in there. So just depending what your normal uh, status you call them. You might call it closed one, closed lost. Um, so just depending on how uh, you have that set up and, and how you want uh, those statuses to be listed. Now, in the lock bid option, that is going to um, lock any bid in that status. So if I say uh, sold and pending, I check those. I can no longer make changes 
to any bid in that status. And it's it's not just, you know, one particular bid, you know, you can lock it and unlock it each each different bid. Any bid in that status will now be locked, so you can't make any changes to it. So uh, just be aware when you're using that lock bid option, any bid in that status is now going to be locked and you won't be able to make any changes. So uh, I want to be able to make some changes. So we're going to uh, go with bidding. We'll hit select. Uh, I've got my uh, project name in there. And then for my estimator, I'm going to go ahead and put my name in there. And again, I can add this to my database. So I'm going to say, yes, I want to add it. Now, there are uh, a few things that I need to put in uh, for my estimator. I need at least first name, last name, and an employee number. Uh, we recommend putting in your email as well. Um, and then if you're working on a SQL server uh, and you want to be able to enable login, uh, that's something you'd want to set up there. Uh, one of our Bid Like a Boss sessions is going to be covering uh, some of that SQL server access database uh, differences uh, that is coming up uh, August 21st. So if you want to learn more information about that, check out our Bid Like a Boss session. Um, and you can find the link for that on the My On Center tab. So, um, But for now, we are going to just focus on my first name, last name, employee number. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And we're going to hit Select. And there I am. Um, bid number, just a rolling number counting up as we add every new bid. Uh, job number, that is whatever you want. If you have uh, numbers that you, uh, kind of your uh, numbering system that you use outside of the software, you can put those numbers in that job number. Uh, and then notes, any other information that you need to include, uh, GC, contact information, owner, address, anything else that you need to keep track of for this bid, go ahead and type that in there. All right, a um, couple other quick things before we get to adding our images, uh, price using, um, you know, we're, we're not gonna be getting into any, any of these today, but just wanna talk a little bit about that worksheet tab, putting your pricing in there. If you have QuickBid, obviously setting up, uh, linking that to QuickBid, getting your numbers directly from uh, OST into QuickBid. And then the Microsoft Excel, we have the ability to directly export your results into a pre-created Excel spreadsheet. Um, that'll be, you know, during any of our other training sessions, talk to our, our trainers, or we have videos on that, how to set that up. But um, if you didn't know about that and you use an Excel spreadsheet, you can get your numbers from OST directly into that pre-created spreadsheet. So uh, definitely check that out if that is something that you utilize. Um, and then the typicals, if you do a lot of jobs that are uh, hotels, apartment complexes, anything with uh, repeating spaces, then you'll want to, you know, make sure that you know how to set those up. Uh, we will be having our next um, lightning lesson is going to be on typical groups versus typical areas. So uh, the last Wednesday of August, we'll be taking a look at that, digging more into typical groups and typical areas, if you're interested in more information on that. Uh, and then the bid date, uh, just set that bid date for when that bid is due, uh, whenever you're working on that. Um, the the bid date will turn red within 24 hours of the time from the based on the current time compared to that time so 24 hours uh from the current time the bid date will be red if that is within that time frame so uh, a quick indicator of when that bid is due all right we've got all our information set for this bid now we need to add our images so I'm gonna go down to the bottom and we are going to add our images. Now that plus, that's just a blank page. I know you're probably tempted to click on that, uh, but we are going to uh, use those next two icons, uh, which is the the, uh, the folder is the auto add. So we'll, we'll add all the images in the folder that are the same file type. And then the mountain picture, you can pick and choose which ones you want to add. So I'm going to click on that mountain picture. And I've already got it uh, pulled up to where I was before. We're going to add this project. And this is a multi-page uh, PDF. So when I open this, it's going to take a second there. And it will uh, pull in all of those pages from that PDF. And as it's pulling all of those in, uh, I will then be looking at that and say, 
I don't know what page is which. I don't know where my uh, architectural pages are. I don't know, you know, where uh, my civil plans are. And whatever pages I have, I'm not sure which page is which. And I don't want to spend the time going through one by one, renaming these pages and, and figuring out what those are. So that's where auto name comes into play. Uh, down at the bottom, we're going to click on that auto name button. Uh, before we do that, I'm just going to select all of the pages by clicking on the first page, holding shift, clicking on the last page. Then I'm going to click on auto name. And that's going to go ahead and pull up auto name on the right side here. And now I have my plan uh, showing up. It is going to look at the last pages you have selected. So if these pages are rotated or uh, you know different orientation or the naming is in a different location you'll have to name those separately uh, but for this we're going to go ahead and click that set sheet number and name location and when i do that it's going to uh, pull up my uh, preview i'm going to use my shortcut key of con holding down the control key and scrolling up to zoom in and then Go ahead and get this uh, oriented over that sheet number and name. So I'm going to drag the sheet number over that. I'm going to make this a little bigger just to make sure if any of those numbers are a little longer than this sheet name. I'm going to get that right over there. And then I'm going to make this larger. Again, if one of these names happen to be a little longer, I want to make sure that that is included in that box as I am uh, as it's going through and renaming. All I got to do is click OK. That's going to take a second. This status column will all pop in there saying ready. There we go. And so now I'm ready to run auto name. And I'm going to go ahead and click run auto name. This is just letting me know, hey, uh, you can go ahead and move about your project to get started doing takeoff if you want. Uh, this is going to run in the background. And so that auto name will start running uh, the first page, you know, any around 10 seconds or so usually takes to, to get that first page. And then after that, uh, every couple seconds, you'll just see those those names and, and numbers popping in there. And so you can sit here and watch it and, and just, uh, you know, bask in its glory of you not having to do it. Uh, but otherwise, uh, you can go ahead and click OK and, and jump into that project. Uh, so we are seeing I already have the first couple uh, pages have been renamed. I've got the number and the names popping in there. So that is going through and, and doing all the hard work for me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click OK. So we're going to see that load to that project. Um, and it is going to automatically load to that um, to that first page. Uh, you see that stop button there. If I wanted to come back and and stop auto name from running, I'm not sure why I'd want to do that because uh, obviously I uh, wanted to to go through and, and make my life a little bit easier. So um, just got a couple minutes left here. Uh, you know, throw those questions in uh, to the comments if you have any of those. Uh, but we will uh, kind of review a couple things here and uh, yeah, be be ready to finish up. Um, so if I want to just review that, make sure. So there is my overall scope and phasing plan page G002, there it is. Uh, and I'm seeing those other names uh, popping in there as we are uh, waiting for that to, to continue to, uh, to prog uh, progress through. Uh, so we'll jump back to that cover sheet just for a second here. So um, just reviewing uh, as you are in that cover sheet, making sure you are setting that information uh, for for your project uh, and then adding those images. Um, so that way we will uh, be able to have, uh, have all those details, have those plans renamed. Uh, and if we can, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, finalize that. So, all right. Uh, so just a, a quick reminder. Um, we are live every uh, the last Wednesday of every month at 2 p.m. Eastern uh, on the On Center uh, Training YouTube channel. Uh, so check us out. Uh, we'll if you have questions, throw those into the into the comments. We'll make sure to address those. Uh, if you would like to see uh, any other sessions, uh, you know, reach out to to us at uh, academy at constructconnect uh, dot com. Uh, and then uh, some of our other sessions that we have come out coming up. 
up. Uh, like I mentioned, that uh, bid like a boss uh, session um, that is going to be coming up on August 21st. And uh, so, er, yep, so that way that'll cover the the database management. So uh, some other uh, bid like a boss sessions coming up, some of our other YouTube live sessions coming up, and then our classroom training in person. Uh, get with our, our team uh, two full days of uh, on screen takeoff, two full days of quick bid. Uh, we also have plans with Quotes Off. Uh, so check out those if you have those products. So uh, that's all we had for today. Today. So uh, check out uh, each YouTube live session every Wednesday, every last Wednesday of the month. Uh, check out our Bid Like a Boss sessions all the other Wednesdays of the month. Uh, so we can uh, help you out, answer any of those questions that you have, and uh, help you utilizing uh, our products uh, to the best uh, of the ability. So as always, construction starts here.